All right, guys, I got this Johnny 5 X5 put together last night. Well, come finished being put together last night. And uh, I was correct that the uh, front housing for the camera where this thing's going to mount or where the Cadex Vista camera is going to mount, um, it was a little bit short. I was able to stretch it out by heating it up just a little bit. Um, needless to say, it was somewhat of a longer night than I anticipated, but it, you know, it, it panned out. Everything was fine. So, um, so now the camera sits in there nice and securely. Uh, the little cutouts that I made for the inside for the thicker area, um, it, it worked the way I. All right, guys, I'm noticing a lot of vibration and a lot of, um, I don't want to say imperfection. Uh, that's definitely not the word I'm looking for. I'm noticing a lot of uh, shaking in the camera while I'm flying. Uh, so I'm going to, knowing that I put some used propellers on here, these were like some uh, throw in my bag uh, in the event that, you know, and I did have a crash yesterday with the same propellers, um, the same, you know, the same electronics motors, the whole nine yards The you know, I don't think the crash affected the electronics at all. Um, oh, wow. Never mind. I already see part of the problem. One of the blades, it has a chip in it and it's down quite a bit. And yeah, I won't be able to take this thing back out and fly it until after it stops raining Ugh. so but needless to say i'm gonna take off these uh what are they these were the five by 4.3 um i'll pop one off and i'll actually show you and, and read it off to you yeah that thing is that thing there is really bent down um okay these are the gem fan let me get some light here uh, let's go for some all-natural battery-operated light here. These are the 4.3, 5 by 4.3 by 3 V1S, and I, I don't know. I forget who makes these, these things. So we're going to take these off, and, um, I bought some props for my Dequad Obsession, um one just to try that you know just to try them out i've been using the hq four blade props um don't get me wrong i love the way those things look i love the way that they feel while they're on the quad um if you want to fly like you feel like you're on uh, a roller coaster like it's on train tracks or rails um there's very little drift with these things there's very little you know, there's, it's just, you want it to go that way, it's going to go that way. So, um, what did I do with those? Whoa, almost knocked everything off. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to put on these Azure props. These, these are the Johnny 5 Azure, for, or let's see here, Johnny, Johnny Freestyle props. The, they are 4.8. Yes, 4.8 by 3.8. So we're going to give these a try. Um, these are what they look like before I set them on the quad. They do not match. I'm not happy about that. But I can order a set of propellers that, um, you know, look a little better. If I like, if I like the way these feel with this particular build... Uh, I'll just go for a different color. Um, I got purple on this thing. I got black on this thing and I got green on this thing so But you know the main color is the purple because of the PLA that I use so um, As soon as it as soon as the weather takes a break um, And there's no moisture coming from the heavens I will get this thing back up in the air. Uh, I'll take everything inside with me. That way, if my daughter is still sleeping and it stops, uh, I will go ahead and come out the front door, put everything on the porch, and just go from there. So other than that, I got props on it. Um, let's see here. I'm going to have to put that battery a little bit more forward. But I'm going to get everything set up now to where all I got to do is literally turn everything on, plug in the... Uh, the DJI goggles and get in the air. All right, that'll work. Perfect. 
Got nothing's hitting anything. Got plenty of clearance for everything. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my eyes. Okay. For a second there, I thought that uh, my camera was facing more to the right than it was anything. It's, it's all good, though. Everything's good. All right. But here it is, ready to go. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I'm going to include the front, the, the beginning. I'm going to uh, include the uh, original the original flight and this one as well so um let's go ahead and take the batteries all let's see here what do i got to take inside all i got to do is uh my daughter just came walking out here looking like mary poppins with an umbrella um quad camera battery for the dji goggles um i use a two point what is this a 2200 uh ma 3s it seems to work really well um i don't have to charge it very often so, but yeah, let's, let's grab everything and get inside real quick. And it's crazy. Look at this. It's bright outside. Sophia, inside, please. But it's bright outside and it's raining. It's the stupidest thing. All right, let's get inside. Wait for this. Wait for the moisture to halt its droppage. All right, the weirdest thing. It's only been like maybe 10 minutes and uh, the sun's like right there just as bright as can be. All right, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay away from the trees because I'm looking around at the leaves. All the leaves are really wet. So just to help protect the electronics, we're gonna stay away from the trees. We're just gonna fly around, um, see how this thing goes. And I'll just use the porch as a landing and takeoff area, I guess. Well, I'll just use the the railing here as a takeoff area so everything's on everything's ready to go that's probably stupid don't judge make sure we got video well all right there we go let me see here mm. The green tree leaf yuck. You can, I can taste it. All right, much better. All right, 16.5. Uh, let me scoot it over just a little bit. Let's see here. Prop that way, that way, that way. That, okay. All right, just making sure all the propellers on there. All right, Johnny Five on these Azure 4.8s. I don't know how I'm gonna like them. They didn't seem like much of a what do you call it much of a propeller surface area so I expected it to um, I, I kind of had my doubts about it at first but it, it worked it turned out that it was uh, actually kind of a good idea um, along with that the Cadex Vista unit in the back um, because this frame uh, the bottom plate the only screw holes you really have is for your motors. Everything else is just open area. Um, I was able to drill a couple of holes right here in the very back, here and here, these two. Um, and what I had done was I put two screws through the front of the Cadex Vista unit that allowed the screws to rest within the groove here at the very bottom, right here. And while pressing those in place, I drilled two holes that were here and here uh, just two pilot holes, um, went ahead and widened them out, uh, enough to put the, fit the Cadex Vista screws. I think these are like one millimeter, 1 1.5 millimeters, got those in place. Uh, and now that those screws are in place, it actually allows the, these two front screws right here to just be wedged in place. There's no way this thing here can physically move around to shift out. Um, but it saved me happening to print a carriage to hold the Cadex Vista unit, um, the only thing that scared me about the carriage was just the simple fact that these things get really hot. They get really, you know, really warm and it needs room to breathe. So, but needless to say, that's all, everything's okay. Everything's secured. Um, all my screws are uh, nice and snug, nice and tight where they need to be. Um, my motor wires are still a little bit longer than, you know, I'd like them to be, but for just trying, you know, trying out this frame just to see how this frame is going to work with these uh, cricket motors. Um, well, we're gonna we're let, 
well, you see, you see how this thing's flying, you know, but, but now, now is where I cut this video, and I'm just going to overlay this, like I did my last one, uh, just during the last Maiden, and, uh, my, my youngest is in the house sleeping right now, and I can hear my daughter, my older daughter, my six-year-old, jumping around like a baboon, so, yeah, once again, always getting interrupted by my child. So let's get to flying this thing.